Okay. Something definitely feels off. Yeah. Yeah, you are... No. Welcome back to the channel guys, today we are playing They Speak From The Abyss um, Honest to God, I love the aesthetic of this one I've seen a couple of screenshots of it and I'm not gonna lie, it looks like This guy was on acid when he made this game, but It looks fun uh, This is a demo for the full release, which uh, If this goes well, we'll be playing So yeah, let's just get into it if at any point you feel overwhelmed, press escape twice to close the game. I suppose I should give a warning. If you guys feel overwhelmed, don't go any further with this game. Oh, okay, Vanessa. I'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm here for you. Ring, ring. Uh, no? It can't be that early already. Ring ring. A young woman, Vanessa, rises from her small futon on the floor. She begrudgingly looks at her phone. 8am. Time to get up. Oh, my head. I must have slept wrong. My neck feels so stiff. Ring ring. Ring ring. Yeah, yeah, I know. I need to meet Casey at the rental shop. Use A and D to rotate. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. This is a little bit more. Boxes, so many boxes. This is a little bit. I guess cardboard boxes will have to work until I get my desk from my old place. Okay, this is, uh... This is a little bit weird, like... Okay. Something definitely feels off. Yeah. Yeah, you are... No. <laughs> the door won't open. I fucking opened that door! Oh, no. Ah... No. No, thank you. I'll go home. It's all good. I'll go. I'll go. My home. I don't want to go down there. Okay, we're going to go see the creepy little dude. Hi, mate. How are you? Oh, ah, I'm so glad to see you showed up, Vanessa. I'm so... Disturbed by you, mate. Who are you? My name is... Germain? I'll be your therapist for the evening. I think you need some therapy yourself, mate. So please, indulge me. Tell me about your troubles. Before we begin the therapy, there are some things we need to make clear. Okay. This experience is merely a demonstration of the challenge you will soon face. Horrors you are about to witness might be very different when you will go through the full journey. Demo. <laughs> you will have visions of creatures far more terrifying than you could imagine. This version, this vision, along with our main appointment, will contain plenty of body horrors, horrible and traumatic experiences. An exploration of a human psyche begging to be healed. Please keep that in mind before proceeding. The abyss is a strange and hostile world. Keep this in mind, young lady. Please step forward to begin our session whenever you're ready. Oh, before you go, please know. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Time ain't gonna wait for you. Oh, right. We could just walk right through you, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Where, where am I? The forest filled with gross odor. The trees pulsate and writhe. Vanessa gags as she tries to get her ba bearings back. Oh god, I need to find a way out of here. Fast. What? 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 What the fuck are you? Hey! Oh, no thank you. Did I just slay on myself? Something in the distance has opened up. No, I, don't, I don't think it has, love. Um, hi! Uh, oh, what the hell is that? The creature twists and throbs, unreacting to Vanessa's presence. Yep! Some demons will let you pass by them. Okay. We just soiled ourselves again. A coiled mass. There's a faint calming wrath. It feels like it could be useful later. Okay. Oh! What the fuck are you? A man stands in your way. Are you lost, Link, young lady? We don't normally have humans crawling around the abyss. <coughs> <coughs> what the fuck are you, mate? You look scared. Of course I look fucking scared. Look at the state of you. You're a plastic bag man with one eye. You're weird. Sorry. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I am. The man who will end your life. The man raises his knife. He lunges forward, knife in hand. But stops before cutting Vanessa. Huh? You totally fucking fell for it. Fuck you, plastic bag. You should have seen the look on your face. Oh my god. He's laughing a lot. At Vanessa's expense. He's a dick, that's what he is. so weird okay a visitor is it vermin nay she is our guest of honor how disappointing human you will be the sacrament for our holy heretical <laughs> baptism you should be honoured. You should be ashamed. Make up your mind, love. Your flesh is precious. Your flesh is disgusting. You, we look forward to ending your life when the ceremony begins. Yeah, keep talking, you fucking psychos. The creature hangs from the ceiling. Its mouth mutters words, but no sounds escape. It looks like it's muttering baptism. You might be able to take the heart attached to it. Yeah, we did. Something has opened in a distant place. Okay. This is exactly what I expected of it. It's like being on acid. Duh, you again. Miss me? Not really, mate. This is what I don't understand about humans. Even though you're in a dangerous new world, even though you're just getting yourself more and more lost, you still need to go around and poke your nose where it doesn't fucking belong. Far be it from me to talk shit. I admire your drive, girl. E. I see you met the twins. They're bad news. It's best to avoid them if you can't help it. This dude is trying to give me advice. Okay. Why are you telling me this? You tried to kill me. I think. <laughs> Honestly. You remind me of an old friend. Someone who left me a long time ago. Obviously, if you haven't gotten this far, you have to the drive to escape. Plus... <laughs> Hunting you will be much more enjoyable when you're stronger. 
Further down here, you'll encounter a devil. Be careful. If anyone would kill you, I want it to be me. <laughs> and I get what I want. Kind of like Bla Plastic Bagman. Not gonna lie, you know, he's... He's psycho, but... At least he's helpful. Aha! This is new. Do we look like demons to you? It lied to us. Okay. Okay, let's interact with you, you stringy little fuck. I don't remember how many days it's been. You lose count after you get into the hundreds. Okay. I suppose that's all you got to tell me. No problem. Oh, this is a little bit more pretty. I take it back. Okay, what are you? I've always loved how the lake shimmers in the city's glow. It seems so close, yet I am forbidden to enter. I miss the snow back home. Okay. Yep. That is the thing of horrors. Just saying, what the fuck is this next to me? The corpse is frozen in the ice, stuck in the perpetual scream. Oh, that must be horrible. Well, let's go and see this big fat vagina. Behold! Beyond this point lies the horrid city of Dis. A vile civilization inhabited by the cursed souls who lost their way in the abyss. You are not ready to enter. Okay, just reject me like fuck you then. Aha! The smell of rot is stronger here than anywhere else in the forest. Vanessa lurches forward, hand covering her mouth as she sees the vile room before her. Lovely. A tall figure is coiled into the walls, the ceiling. It was one of the... with the building. A terrifying energy exudes from it. Oh, shit. Gah, gah. Holiest of holies. Our great, our guest arrives early. Right, uh, what the motherfuck is that? Righteous baptism. Doth has become the cleanse, thine flesh of filth and perversion. Eager for baptism, thine hast even come early. We shall suspend our prayers. Vanessa? Vanessa, don't be afraid. Uh, I, no matter what happens, uh, even if the entire world turns against you, uh, I'll be with you. Uh, Call my name. Sophia. Thank you for playing. We hope to see you again. When the abyss fully opens, press escape twice to quit. I actually really loved that. Like, it was different. Like, firstly, right, I love the dialogue. Like, it's so out there, right? It was just brilliant. And, like, I hope, like, I captured, you know, the narration of it as possibly as good as I could. I'm usually not great with narration, so I tried my best there. But, um, like, that was just completely different from what anything else I've played. Like, you know, the horrors came from the dialogue and like, you know, I really, really like this one. Like, well done to the developers because like just putting that dialogue together alone, right, must have taken a long bloody time. Yeah. And then you take in the art design, which is just absolutely brilliant. It's literally like you've taken acid and you're just going through some fucking messed up shit in your head right and i loved it I, I i'm not gonna lie i think that's like easily nine out of ten from me i love that 
I really did like that. It's completely different from anything I've here seen or played. So in my opinion, that is uh, kudos to the developer because that is really, really bloody good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. And if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when my videos go up next. Also, be sure to hit that like button. Give me a comment. Tell me what you thought, guys, because I know this isn't probably, you know, the biggest or scariest game in the world, like, you know, but it really captured the essence and atmosphere of horror game which i really liked in a different type of way so i would like to hear your opinions as well um apart from that i hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye